this video we are going to be putting on the bumper stripe we're also going to be putting on the cable protector now i bought these a while ago i'm going to go for the red team for the scooter at the moment but i'm after getting some custom blue parts made so down the line i'm going to be completely changing the color of my scooter which i'm really looking forward to but of course as we all know them parts take a really long time to get here especially if you order from aliexpress or wish so any of the accessories that i'm going to be using in this video i am going to be linked down below if you want to go and have a look and i'm curious to know what accessories do you actually have for your scooter i'd love to know i love looking at all these new things that are coming out these new mods that people are making so i'd love to know just comment below what do you have at the moment on your show me m365 pro and if you missed out on any of my show me m365 pro videos they're linked in the description in the eye in the top right corner of this video they're going to be linked at the end but stick with me on this video we're going to be going through step by step how to install this bumper protector so let's open the pack here and have a look at the overall quality i ordered these a really long time ago this is the cable protector it's actually quite long obviously it does stretch it's actually obviously they're quite easy to flip and install but we're going to do that last this is obviously the cover that you use to to protect against if it's raining and stuff like that this one i've noticed that of course you don't have the strips inside to i guess glue this to your display unit some people have said to use just double-sided sticky tape to do that i do have another cover this is a black cover that i actually got originally when i got the skewer and as you can see you have the strips on the inside to adhere them to the display unit but again i don't think they'll hold very well so i think the best option for this is going to be double-sided sticky tape the purpose of this video i've literally so many accessories that i bought i'm going to be doing a video on accessories not to buy because i bought so many just out of curiosity to see what the see what the quality is to be honest oh yeah this is actually the um of course we all know what this is this is the part that's used to hook the scooter it can become loose very easy so but to be honest this one feels oh, feels very flimsy as hell so i probably wouldn't be I'd probably get a higher quality one to be honest this is just i don't know i won't put that on unless i lose the one that i have but this is the one this is the strip i've been waiting on it looks really small to be honest i'm hoping to get this obviously around the whole scooter i've seen people putting the bumper part on the on the front mud guard here so I think it looks okay. We will have to see. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is some people have said to heat these to make the glue more adhesive. If they don't have a heat gun. We're gonna give this a try. Here we go. I think we're barely gonna be able to get this around this part. If you're curious, most people use these to protect the side of the skewer because I think they look good. And of course they protect it, you know, so you don't see minor dents and scratches. And even if these wear down over a while, you can order another one of them. They're really cheap. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean around this area first with a damp cloth, dry completely with a fiber cloth. I guess the whole point of this is to just get all the dirt off because you want this to stick as best as possible. We're gonna be doing another step now before we basically put on the strip. So to make it adhere more, a little bit better, what we are gonna be using now, we're gonna be using alcohol based. The one that I'm gonna be using is actually 90% alcohol. So we can get all the contaminants off. You do need to be careful, wear gloves if you want, but be careful handling anything like this at all. So you can get this in any hardware store, to be honest, pretty cheap. So let's have a look here. So when you do open this, obviously you need to be careful. I have a clean fiber cloth here. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna put a small bit on and then we're gonna go around the bumper area. <laughs> after we put the alcohol on we're just gonna put a flip it on the other side obviously this stuff smells really really strong after we have that done this is our strip of course i think the best practice for this is to just kind of let the whole thing out obviously it's after been raveled up for so long that we want it to be as easy as possible as you can see here it's really flipping raveled up at this stage we just get it kind of stretch it out a bit obviously don't stretch it too much let's just have a look here oh yeah looks pretty cool i hope it sticks though because anything like this the thing with adhesives is that the the glue itself on it can go off and it can be no longer flipping sticky so i'm just gonna actually measure this and actually see see what it's like it should have enough to play with <laughs> to the end here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure it and then i'm gonna cut it so that the adhesive so the part we're not gonna use we can just keep that come to the very end 
and then before I put in the last part I'm gonna just cut it after we have all that done we're gonna get our cloth again it doesn't matter we're gonna push it in to make sure it's okay I must say it looks pretty cool I'm actually happy with the color some of the reds you can get are a bit off I think some of them are like a kind of a bit dull but we have this much left it's more than enough to go around the front mud guard but to be honest now that I think about it I'm not gonna do that what we're gonna do next is we're gonna install the cable protector and if you are enjoying this video by the way give it a like and share it with any of your friends if they're thinking about doing this type of modification or if they like scooters in general so let's keep going with the video now so this is the cable protector top quality as you can see <laughs> obviously it does stretch it has a bit of give so the first thing that we need to do is you actually need to measure exactly where you're going to put this well actually the first part we're going to measure is just this the brake cable here it's red already i'm just going to put it on i guess and see what it looks like if i don't like it you can take it off let's get a scissors let's measure and let's cut it i'm really looking forward to the whole blue team that i'm going to be doing i'm going to have a blue bumper on the way blue caps on the way i'm going to be getting one of the as you can see one of the legs here i always always have a i have a red boot on that to to protect the stand and i have also an, a blue cable protector on the way i have one of these the back guard i'm after getting custom made again blue i'm really looking forward to doing that in the near future i'm going to be doing it in a whole complete video so let's have a look here what we need to do is we need to measure it a little bit make sure it's the same just measure it i think the best the best thing about parts like this is that you know they're so cheap that even if you screw up it's absolutely fine what you do is you basically curl this on the cable so a few people have asked i've actually seen people ask how you actually put these on basically curl this part on top of the cable and then you ravel it around the cable like this so it, it's pretty easy it's not rocket science so let's have a look so we're going to get the top part here and we're going to curl it around the cable first so let's do that like so so I'm gonna hold it at the top here and then simply walk your way around the cable. Okay, there we go. I cut that actually exactly how it should be. Looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna probably see if I can get, manage to actually get these in blue as well when I actually change the team. Now at the moment, people do protect this cable. I'm not gonna be doing that at the moment because actually what's happening is it's gonna be getting changed to the X-Tech brake and I'm gonna be getting a 140 millimeter disc as well. I think this, it's fine to be honest, the stock one, but personally, I'm not a big fan of it. So this is definitely gonna be getting changed. Disc 140 mil is gonna be getting changed as well. So I'm not gonna be putting the cable protector on this. So let's move up to the front here and let's do this one as well. Obviously, this is a, a double one. Again, do the same thing, measure that. Probably always measure a bit more than what you think you need. So again, let's do the same thing. looks pretty good obviously i didn't go over this part because it looks a bit stupid so it's only this black part that's shown yeah pretty happy with that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the cable on the again let's give it a quick measure no it's taking so long for you to come through Cause girl you got me feeling anxious anxious Good. So let's have a look at the skewer. There we go. I'm pretty happy with how it's come out. So give this video a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to see more Show Me M365 Pro videos. You can click on the videos that are shown up on screen right now if you want to watch more of the videos that I have made. In the meantime, stay safe on your scooter, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next video. I just wanna know why it's taking so long for you.